Giallo here. Um, the Euro 2020 qualifying draw is taking place at the Convention Centre on December 2nd and also there's a load of initiatives that are taking place in and around those days as well. There's, street league, there's a Street Legends community football thing happening on the Saturday with Portugal Legends and then also a national football exhibition opening on Sunday. Robert Pires is here as part of that as well. Welcome. Hello, thank you very much. Right, so we're at a time, um, obviously France have just won the World Cup. It's similar to 20 years ago, you had just won the World <laughs> Cup. Congratulations, 20 years on. Like, how did you find it actually after 98? Because you're on the top of the world, obviously, You've, you have the World <laughs> Cup trophy, and then you have to almost keep that motivation going for what happens two years later. Um, and as I kind of said, I thought the Euro 2000 team had developed even further than 98. It was stronger, especially in an attacking sense. Um, was that something you felt inside the camp as well, that you actually got better from 98 to 2000? Um, I think, uh, yeah, um, in 2000, we are a little uh, much better than the 98. Uh, it was the same team, uh, same players. We changed just the, the manager. But, you know, um, when, when you play a lot of games uh, with, the, with your club, uh, you play Champions League, uh, you can reach the high level. Uh, so you, you grow up, you, you take more, more experience. Um, so that's why I'm very confident for the next, uh, next competition we won the, the last World Cup, so the next competition is in two, is, no, is in one, one year and a half. Um, we have a good, um, very good squad. Um, you know, you need, to, um, you need to find the motivation. If you have a motivation, you can, you can reach or you can try to reach uh, the, um, the title. So in 20 years ago, we are on the top of the world. Today we are on the same same position. Um, the team is a little bit, of course, is different, but um, the quality, the quality of the players, for me, it was the same. The leadership quality, I think, maybe from modern footballers, obviously changed, and they're you know they're on Instagram, they're doing different things, <laughs> and um, you know I can't imagine Didier Deschamps being on Instagram or you know doing social media. <laughs> even, but even did even even Didier Deschamps have an Instagram or Twitter? Uh, fair play, <laughs> yeah. But um, <laughs> everything's possible now. <laughs> yeah, the, leadership, the leadership looked a bit different, I think, because you had old school players like Deschamps, Laurent Blanc, you know Desai in that squad. Whereas oh, you know the players. Oh, of course, know. I was watching uh, from from that time. But now, okay. when, when you look at the likes ah, of nice. when you look at the likes of Pogba, you're still young, yeah. You're still young. Yeah, I'm 29 now. Oh, so that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's young, young. Yeah. Okay. But um, like the, they, the leaders of today's group, say Griezmann, Pogba they play almost with a smile on their face. It seems a bit different. And I wonder how do you think that affects the, like, I suppose, the internal side of a squad? But I think, the, I think the, the effect is the same because if you have a good quality, you can, you can, you can, I think you can win some titles. So maybe the difference between 98 and today, it's, uh, the, it's uh, the, the experience because you said Deschamps, you said Laurent Blanc, you said uh, De Sailly, uh, Djorkaev. They have, on this moment, the player, they have a lot, lot of experience. But today, someone, they don't have experience. Mm -hmm. so, so that's why the football, they change. So maybe if you, if, you, um, if you leave the trophy, maybe you need the quality, you need the talent. Of course, sometimes you need the luck because this is, a, this is, a, this is a football. And of course, if you have um, one of the best goalkeepers like Hugo Lloris, it's perfect. If you have a, one very good uh, defender, one of the best defenders, like Varane, it's perfect. And if you have a, one very good striker, like Antoine Griezmann, it's perfect. So if you have this one, you can win something. And of course, for me, the most important, you know who is the, the, the best player in this team? You know who is it? I'd be interested to know then, unless you want me to guess. N'Golo Kante. Well, of course, yeah, no, he's been... Uh, he's the best, for me, he's the best. Yeah, he's got a great engine. So, so that's what, yeah, exactly. So, so that's why I'm very happy because um, because Deschamps he, he, he find a good, very good, uh, of course, very good uh, team, yeah. but very good stability. Yeah, dealing with the pain of Euro 2016, um, I know, like obviously the Champions League final of 2006, dealing with the pain of defeat as well. I think was kind of important for this French generation. Yeah, I think um, it was a a nightmare for for France for Didier Deschamps because. Of course, we, we reach the final, but uh, the most important is to win or to leave the trophy. Unfortunately, Portugal, they won one nil at home. So it was, a, it was a very, very difficult night. But I think after this, uh, he built something new. Uh, he brings some new players and uh, it was a very good um, 
Yeah, it, it was a very good experience mm. because when you sometimes when you lose, you say, okay, you lost. It's because of maybe Portugal they play better than you, or because you have a lot uh, some some player was uh, injured. So you need to you need to learn because you you learn every day, especially when you talk about football. So now look, two years after, we won the World Cup. Now I think we're on the, one of the favorite for the next uh, next Euro 2020. Yeah. So so that's why I'm very. I'm very confident about uh, about this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a bit about yourself. Now you've gone into doing a bit of coaching just at the time of, when Wenger was finishing up at Arsenal. You did a bit of coaching alongside him. Um, some of your former teammates are now getting involved. So Thierry Henry at Monaco. You have Patrick Vieira and Nice as yes. well. And uh, Sol Campbell is now taking taking charge of Macclesfield. Yes. Um, when you looked at that generation of players, like you had great leaders, great players in that squad. Um, were there are there players in there that you're surprised maybe haven't gone into management like those three that I've mentioned but you know um, for me for example it's not on my plans to be a manager because it's very it's very very difficult yeah. we have a lot i think a lot of uh, responsibility but i'm very happy to uh, i hope like uh, like uh, people i'm very happy to uh, uh, to see the new face on the bench like henry in monaco like viera yeah. uh, in nice um, Saul campbell uh, Freddy Lundberg is uh, with the national yeah. under under um, yeah. twenty or nineteen. I don't know, yeah. but he's a, he's a manager uh, because we need a new uh, new manager, new uh, n- I don't know, new uh, new philosophy or, or fresh or fresh um, fresh face. Yeah. So so that's why it's very yeah, it's very capital for the football to have some new uh, new coaches uh, yeah, like this, yeah. And obviously new coaches at Arsenal now, so Unai Emery came in, and he, <laughs> he's got a job to do, obviously, to try and maybe instill what he thinks he wants to see in a team. Um, from your time, just and obviously you can just tell us as much as you want, uh, when you were coaching alongside Wenger towards the end of the reign, um, in terms, terms of the defensive work, how much input did Steve Bold have at the time, or was it uh, more Wenger kind of overseeing everything? But I think you know. Of course, the, the manager is very uh, is very important uh, because he can can give you some 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 advice or, or the confidence. Um, so for for Unai Henry, of course, for, I think he's he's doing well since the beginning uh, because it's not easy for him to reply Sassen Wenger. But he knows it will yeah it should be very uh, very difficult because this is Arsenal and this is a Premier League, and the role of uh, Steve Ball is very important because he's like. Um, it's like a it's like a bridge between the the dressing room and the Unai Emery. So that's why I think Arsenal they say okay we need a, we need an ex player like uh, Steve Ball because he knows perfectly the the house Arsenal house, yeah. and uh, I think he can he can help uh, he can help Unai Emery because he used to play uh, for Arsenal. He used to play for during the sorry uh, in the Premier League. So I think it's a very good idea to uh, to keep. Uh, um, Steve Bolt on the on the squad. Was he doing many defensive drills separately as yeah. well? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because there was a, I think there was an idea from outside that maybe he didn't have as much freedom to do the work, but maybe. No, he's, but is is freedom? But uh, he have uh, some responsibility because sometimes he, he can he can take the only the defender because he was a defender, so he knows perfectly this um, this uh, how you call it. Um, this uh, this football because when you are the, when you are a defender so yeah I think it, I know because sometimes I can watch the I can watch the the session the session training uh, in Colne so so he's doing well he's a very good um, very good manager uh, because he knows uh, he can talk with the with the player he's very um, he's yeah he's very free on the on the field he have a small responsibility but uh, for the team especially for the defender. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's nice when you win when you go, when you can work with uh, with a guy like uh, like Steve. Yeah, you mentioned I think before that the one thing Arsenal were missing um, from the time compared to when you were playing to the time that I suppose towards the end of Wenger's reign there was no kind of Martin Keown figure. Um, <laughs> he was obviously and players like him were obviously important to the success that you had with the Invincibles and the other league title wins. Yes, yeah. I'm agree with you. Of course, you need. Uh, you need a, you need an English player uh, because uh, you know the Premier League. Believe me, is very very difficult. It's very tough. Not tough 
when you play against uh, City, United, Liverpool or Tottenham, it's tough. For example, on my time when you used to play against Leeds, Bolton, Blackburn, you know, or Middlesbrough, this, this game was very, very, very difficult because if you want to win the title, you need to win this, this game. This tough game. Um, so, so that's why, for example, on my time, I used to play with the, the guy like Tony Adams, Martin Keown, uh, Lee Dixon, Ashley Cole, Ray Parlor. So, so it's the, it's the base, the base. So it's very, very important. So that's why I think Arsene Wenger, he said, okay, if I want to win the title, I need the English player. So he said, okay, this is, this is my defense, only English, Luca, yeah. Dixon, Adams, Keon, Ashley Cole. And in front, I put the, maybe the more, the more quality or the, or the other football, like a French, a Dutch or Spanish football. So that's why the mix, it was perfect. But the mix got lost, obviously. Yeah, yeah, of course. But this is, you know, this is, uh, this is football because when you play, you, when you play, the most important is the present. The present, you need to win the title, the, the Premier League, the FA Cup, uh, Champions League. Unfortunately, we lost the Champions League in 2006. But, but Wenger, Every year, he build a good, very good team to, to be a competitive and to try to win the Premier League title. Yeah. I suppose the final story before I let you go, um, I did want to bring up David O'Leary, obviously. You've probably been asked about it before, but yeah, <laughs> you played Leeds. I think you mentioned playing Leeds, yeah. tough teams to play against. Uh, there was a bit of an incident, I think, after, uh, I think it was November 2000 or so, where there was a little bit of a clash off the pitch. Um, <laughs> have you met each other since? And can you just recall that moment? You know, I, I spoke with him, yeah. with David O'Leary was, you know, uh, this is a, yeah, this is a, a big mistake from me. Yeah, because, you know, when you, when you are a player, sometimes you, you, you do some, some mistakes. So for me, it was a big mistake. So, look, uh, I, I, I saw David O'Leary three months ago. So we talk, you know, naturally. So... Nothing happened. Nothing happened. So it's, it was. It's one of those incidents that happened. Exa- exa- exactly. So so that's why. Yeah. yeah. You need. After this, after the accident, you need to talk why. Yeah. And after we talk, the history up oh, is closed. Yeah. Everyone Next. Moves on. Exactly. Yeah. Everyone moves. Yeah. Move okay. on. Yeah. Perfect. Robert, thanks a million for taking the time and enjoy your time in Dublin.